guys welcome to another edition of unsanctioned fabrication i have a cool little find i had uh, over the other over the weekend actually but i wanted to know what i could do with this i had a couple ideas of what uh, that i that i had for a uh, garage door opener more or less because i wanted to make a track torch and uh i thought this would be pretty neat so i got lucky one of my neighbors tossed this out and who was a dummy that actually dragged drug this down the alley not me i scored on this one check this out so i opened it up and hold this thing open, disconnected the lights, I don't want lights, disconnected my uh, the little uh, speed control here. What I wanted to get down to was basically the motor, and I wanted to also get down to the gear ratio here. So this is a standard, uh, pretty standard part for uh, LiftMaster Chamberlain uh, garage door openers. This guy threw it out because his spur gear wore off and just sheared. So this is a $25 replacement part, no problem. I got another one already on its way. You got a, the black and white coming in, so you're neutral and you're hot. Now, the hot actually ran over to the circuit board, but we disconnected that circuit board. That does nothing. But I was following the wires going to the motor. You only have three wires going into this motor. You're neutral, which is still obvious. To, it just travels straight to the motor. Then these have to be the hot ones. One either forward and reverse, because garage door openers, they go down and they come up. It's forward and reverse. So what I had the bright idea was, let's just hook it up, see if it runs. So... Let's give this a go. Now, I'm gonna use my Harbor Freight uh, variable speed control just for the fact that it's easy and I have an on and off switch. So with this going, it's kicking into full. Cool, there we go. So when I kick it in, uh, hook it up to red, it runs counterclockwise, depending on which way you're looking at it. I guess it's hook up the blue kick it on so fantastic this is good stuff now i also checked out the gear ratio for the worm drive system and this gear mechanism we're looking at a 17 to 1 gear ratio now i'm assuming this is going to be a 1700 rpm motor i highly doubt they would throw a 3500 rpm in here just because that thing would be bonkers fast and then gearing it down it just doesn't make sense to me what i'm trying to figure out is is any do any of you guys know what rpm this thing is now, I would greatly appreciate it. Please comment down. Let me know so we could actually go further with this. Once I could identify that, I can now figure out how I can modify this for a screw drive mechanism. And that's what I ultimately want to do with this, was a screw drive. That way, you kick this thing on, drives down, or reverse it, it'll drive back. I tried checking out the variable speed. Variable speed doesn't do very much at all. So if even... It sounds different, but ultimately the speed doesn't look like it's changing. So, yeah, that I don't think matters whatsoever. But guys, let me know if you have any ideas. Uh, again, I, I'm, I've been, I'm dying to do something with this thing. Don't haven't figured it fully out yet. But yeah, ultimately I think I want to try to make a track torch, something to kind of complement my my plasma table. Guys, thank you very much for watching. 